The public safety team, as you know, responded and has been here all day and, of course, all night. We can confirm uh, that we have lost uh, two people. Um, a third has not uh, been found just yet, so we don't know. Uh, we have not been able to identify the three individuals. Uh, we have just met with two of our uh, family, uh, families who are here. Uh, we went to visit parents in a hotel, and we have family members who are continue to remain on site. And we're being very upfront and honest as possible based on the information that we have. Uh, there is a crane on its way to the city of New Orleans now that will be used to help stabilize uh, the building, at which point uh, we will continue to move forward with rescue efforts. Um, Chief Tim McConnell, as you know, with our fire department has been leading uh, this effort along with our entire public safety team as we are assembled here. And so, Chief, at this time, would you want to share a little more? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, as the Mayor said, uh, we have now identified two fatalities. Uh, we cannot identify which of the three individuals that are missing or the two fatalities, and we have one that we have not located. Uh, we put our search and rescue team back in there uh, late as, late this uh, afternoon, this evening. Uh, they, they made those uh, uh, discoveries. Uh, unfortunately, given the, the structural collapse that's there, they cannot uh, get to the people and, and get them out or identify them. Uh, we'll be going back in tomorrow morning. We have some heavy, heavy equipment you'll see coming in to um, uh, stabilize the building. Uh, what we were trying to do after we made that discovery was use some technology to try and pinpoint and identify exactly uh, which individuals it was. We were unable to do that. The technology was, you know, we weren't successful with that. But tomorrow morning, when the uh, cranes get here, you'll see some coming in very shortly. Uh, we'll try and stabilize the crane that we have a fear of it collapsing further, and then uh, proceed with trying to get some uh, uh, further into the building and, and get through the concrete and get, uh, hopefully be able to, uh, if there is, a, this, this last person is viable, uh, get make that rescue. Uh, we will keep y'all uh, up to date uh, as things progress. Now, the 18 uh, individuals that uh, we did transport uh, two hospitals, all but one, have been released. Uh, and uh, we will continue. I'm actually going to go to UMC uh, after I finish this uh, briefing with you at this time. Any questions? This individual that you have not determined if they are alive or not, are they in the location that you were saying was difficult to get to? or? Uh well, that person we don't know. We, we think we know where that person is, the third, the third individual, but we have not been able to get to them at this point. Uh, we've determined that we think we know where they are based on that we had search dogs in there. But it's under a lot of uh, debris at this time. And so until we can get the crane stabilized and get our crews to get in there and start shoring up the building, this is what uh, the USAR, I talked earlier about the USAR team, the urban search and rescue team. We have a lot of shoring equipment. Once the crane stabilized, they will then get in there and start trying to shore up and get to that location. And we'll have the dogs with us tomorrow to have some pretty sophisticated equipment that allows them to uh, use infrared to look, some hearing devices. Uh, when we were in there today, we didn't get any uh, indications uh, from that equipment. But we'll be able to get a little bit closer once we get the crane stabilized. Uh, Mayor, we know obviously one of the families is still here. What's yes. your, uh, what was your conversation like with them, and what would you want to tell them as they're going through this review? Well, one, letting them know that we, we stand with them uh, as the public safety team has been hands-on uh, all day and will continue to be all night. Uh, they wanted uh, to make sure that they can stay on site. We said as long as it's a secure environment, absolutely, and we will not leave them meaning a presence we will continue to have here 24-7. And that was reassuring to them. Uh, they appreciated just the, the update, although we could not confirm uh, that their loved one was actually deceased. So they appreciated that. And we will just continue to be with, with the family that's here, as you mentioned, here tonight, but also the family that is, is um, laying resting in a hotel room nearby. From talking to uh, people who may have been on the site at the time of the collapse, is there any very early preliminary indication of what may have caused this? 
Well, no, it's under. It's going to be, you know, under investigation. Absolutely. Our first priority, you know, are the people, our individuals that one, two, we know have uh, d have died, and uh, the third that we do not know. That is our priority right now. Stabilizing that structure so that we can get them out of there. And of course, OSHA will be on the scene. They're actually have already shown up. They're here. Uh, and those investigations will, will move forward and progress. But right now, our top priority are lives affiliated with this structure falling down. And I am just, um, you know, thankful even to the 18 individuals that we transported. And we know that there were other individuals that were that, that transported themselves to the hospital, various hospitals throughout um, our parish and even in Jefferson Parish, but one now still remains at UMC, and we're gonna you know, reach out and show that love as well. But right now, again, our priority are the lives that are still in that building and two that we know have passed on. There were, there were 112 people in the uh, building at, or at, on the construction site at the time of the uh, accident. We did confirm that. Uh, I know we had uh, told you we'd get to Of that. the 18 that have been transported, if I'm hearing correctly, you said 17 have been discharged at this point? Correct. 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 That's correct. One is expecting, I was told, potentially surgery, uh, possibly. Um, I'll know more um, after, after this briefing. Uh, but, um, you know, we will not rest until this has been resolved. Chief, can you kind of clarify a little more about um, the search and the rescue for the second person? Uh, how did that work? So you said you... So we, we had gone in, We I think when I had talked to y'all after the uh, first time, we had a search and rescue team went in. They did a search. They hadn't found anybody. Uh, we came, we met, we did some planning. We came up with a different plan. They went back into the building. Uh, were able to get a little further into the building. Once again, with search dogs and with some of the equipment, they went back in, did some further searching, were able to locate a second uh, person. And uh, at that time, then we were trying to identify, you know, which individuals were which using some technology that was unsuccessful. Uh, and so right now we aren't able to, we, we know the three people who were, who were in the building that are, are still not out the building. Uh, we were able to confirm two uh, were deceased, but we do not be, we have not been able to identify who's who from that, from that group, unfortunately. And, and we'd love to be able to give the uh, uh, families, obviously, some more information, but that's where we are right now. Which of the crane be in? The crane one's uh, uh, coming in right now, actually. Oh, so tonight. sounds like them one's behind. One, one tonight right on the way. We're expecting it actually in, in within the next 10 minutes or so. But there's a second also coming. Uh, but that the first crane should be arriving very shortly. When do you think search crews will go back in? Uh, probably tomorrow morning at some point they'll go in. The cranes are getting here. We'll get them set up. Uh, the goal is to use the cranes to stabilize the uh, crane that's uh, in. Uh, precarious situation right now and then be able to get crews moving again. I know that recovery efforts are a priority. Um, what about, or rescue efforts are a priority, but what about recovery efforts for those families who have lost? As family? you go through these processes, you know, there's always a, a objective that you set. And in this case, it's rescue. Life safety is always right. number one. And that'll right. take the precedent over anything uh, any recovery efforts. Uh, as soon as we get uh, uh, through that phase, hopefully uh, we recover this third person, uh, then we'll move into that uh, uh, recovery phase is, will be next. But obviously, uh, when you're doing that, you got to make sure that the people who are doing it uh, don't become a victim. Exactly. And we have uh, just assured uh, the families that we have spoken with uh, this evening that we know the two are deceased, but their bodies matter as well. You know, so it's not like they're just rubble, they're people and they're family members, they're loved ones, and we're going to respect that every step of the way. And that was one very important thing that I wanted to reassure them of. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all very much. Thank you so much. All right, you just got an update from, you just saw it there, uh, Mayor Latoya Cantrell, and of course we have Tim McConnell, of course, with the New Orleans Fire Department, giving us an update and confirming something we heard actually a little bit earlier. Um, Governor uh, John Bell Edwards, when he was giving his speech, uh, mentioned um, that we had lost two lives. Now we have heard it again and confirmed it with the Fire Department, with the Mayor's Office, that two people have passed away and this building collapsed, and there is a third that they believe, according to uh, what we just heard here, 
the police dogs, I mean, the, the search and rescue dogs that went inside of that building, they believe they know where the third person is, but of course, still not safe right now to completely go in. Right, they're trying to stabilize the site before search and rescue crews can get back in there. A big crane is expected to arrive in minutes, and then they expect another one either overnight or early tomorrow morning. So that search effort will get underway in the morning and will, of course, bring you the very latest on the Eyewitness Morning News.